You're laughing. I'm dying. <laughs> Go ahead, have a good time. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself because the party's over. Now listen here, young lady. I am a grown man, and I will not have someone taking over my life like this. Do you understand that? I won't. Mm, mm, mm. Have a good day, Jeannie. Are you not going to kiss me goodbye? Now, remember our bargain. This is a purely platonic relationship. Oh, yes, purely platonic. And you agreed to, to keep it on that basis because you knew it was the best way, right? No, I agreed because I did not know what platonic meant. <laughs> it's another name for friendship. Oh. Uh, um, pals, uh, good buddies. Then uh, what about a friendly kiss goodbye? Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in that. Mm -hmm. You're the best buddy a buddy ever had. <laughs> can a fellow be? I, I hope you'll forgive me, but I, I won't blame you if you don't. Jeannie? Jeannie? can a fellow be? I won't blame you if you don't forgive me. I hope you will. Never. Do not bother me. I am choosing a new planet. I will not stay where I am not wanted. Who said that? Huh? Who, who said that? Who said you weren't wanted? I will find a master up there who does not hate blondes. Jeannie, I didn't mean that. Uh, you know, we have a custom on this planet. Call kiss and make up. I would know more of this custom. I'm truly sorry. I'll never accuse you of anything like that again. You promise? I promise. <laughs> I thought you'd still be out with Captain Healy. Oh, I left him. You were not worried about me? Hmm? No, no, not a bit. I said to myself, if Jeannie can't take care of herself, who can? Well, I, I thought you might at least go up to Captain Healy's apartment to see if I was all right. No, 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 it never occurred to me. Well, that'd be at 2.30 in the morning. Oh, Jeannie, do you mind? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Roger, what are you doing here? Oh, I couldn't sleep, Tony. I figured if you needed a slide rule at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, you must be working on something pretty important, so I brought it over. Come on, thanks. You really don't have to bother. Thanks a lot. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Master, you did go to Captain Healy's apartment. Well, only for a minute. Oh, you were worried about me. A little bit. Jeannie, there's one thing you've got to remember. What is that? human. Oh. Master? No. Hello, Jeannie. Jeannie, you're going to hate me for this, but it, I had to do it. I had to return your slippers. Oh. Yeah, now, they're in the museum where they belong. And I want you to promise me that they're going to stay exactly where they are. Well, if that is what you wish, Master. 
<laughs> Believe me, if you knew all the trouble I went through to, to put those things back, that's exactly what I wish. Very well, Master. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chini. Thank you very much. Well, now that that's over, let's get back to the campaign. Huh? Oh, no, Major Healy. I'm not going to let Major Nelson become governor. Can you forgive me? Well, I don't know, Jeannie. I'd kind of had my heart set on becoming governor. <laughs> Dear, what can I do to make it up to you? <laughs> I'll <think of> something. <laughs> well, you know what they say about politics. <laughs> That's very observant of you, Major. I never would have noticed. Jeannie! Good evening, Anthony, darling. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> Dr. Bellow. Uh, good evening, Jean. Good, good evening. evening. Good morning, Roger. <laughs> what happened to the lights, darling? Oh, you will be so pleased with me. I suddenly realized that NASA does not pay for the electricity bill. <laughs> <laughs> good evening, darling. Fuse blue. <laughs> I didn't get a bill, huh? Mm -hmm. And in one year, we will have saved $382.39. Major Nelson, will you please get these lights on? Our guests are going to be arriving in a few minutes. Uh, the, 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 the men are working on it right now. Light some more candles. Hmm? Light some more candles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. How did you do that? Sir? He, he, he asked how you did that. Oh, thanks, Raj. It's an experimental simultaneous illumination candle power project that Roger and I are working on. <laughs> what would what, you say we're working on? It's an experimental simultaneous illumination. Roger! I say it's rather romantic by candlelight. <laughs> yes, very nice. Yep, Mrs. Nelson, may I wash my hands? No. <laughs> Why not? Oh, because we have no water. In one year, we will have saved $50 and... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of a neighborhood is this? You may place the ring on her finger. Then, by the power vested in me by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. Idea, and I don't even care. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 